Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You are mighty God and Prince of Peace. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You are the Son of God and Son of Mary. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are Word made flesh and splendor of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. God of might, giver of every good gift, put into our hearts the love of your name, so that by deepening our sense of reverence, you may nurture in us what is good, and by your watchful care, keep safe what you have nurtured. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Thessalonians. We do not want you to be unaware, brothers and sisters, about those who have fallen asleep, so that you may not grieve like the rest who have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose, so too will God, through Jesus, bring with him those who have fallen asleep. Indeed, we tell you this on the word of the Lord, that we who are alive, who are left until the coming of the Lord, will surely not precede those who have fallen asleep. For the Lord himself, with a word of command, with the voice of an archangel, and with the trumpet of God, will come down from heaven and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive, who are left, will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. Thus, we shall always be with the Lord. Therefore, console one another with these words. 
The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord comes to judge the earth. The Lord comes to judge the earth. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord all you lands. Tell his glory among the nations. Among all peoples, his wondrous deeds. The Lord comes to judge the earth. For great is the Lord and highly to be praised. Awesome is he beyond all gods. For all the gods of the nations are things of naught, but the Lord made the heavens. The Lord comes to judge the earth. Let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. Let the sea and what fills it resound. Let the plains be joyful and all that is in them. Then shall all the trees of the forest exult. The Lord comes to judge the earth. Before the Lord, for he comes, for he comes to rule the earth. He shall rule the world with justice and the peoples with his constancy. The Lord comes to judge the earth. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus came to Nazareth, where he had grown up, and went according to his custom into the synagogue on the Sabbath day. He stood up to read and was handed a scroll of the prophet Isaiah. He unrolled the scroll and found the passage where it was written. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he has anointed me to bring glad tidings to the poor. He has sent me to proclaim liberty to captives and recovery of sight to the blind, to let the oppressed go free and to proclaim a year acceptable to the Lord. Rolling up the scroll, he handed it back to the attendant and sat down. And the eyes of all in the synagogue looked intently at him. He said to him, he said to them, Today, the scripture passage is fulfilled in your hearing. And all spoke highly of him and were amazed at the gracious words that came from his mouth. They also asked, Is this not the son of Joseph? He said to them, Surely you will quote me with this proverb, Physician, cure yourself, and say, Do here in your native place the things that we have heard were done in Capernaum. And he said, Amen, I say to you, no prophet is accepted in his own native place. Indeed, I tell you, there were many widows in Israel in the days of Elijah when the sky was closed for three and a half years and a severe famine spread over the entire land. It was to none of these that Elijah was sent, but only to a widow and Zarephath in the land of Sidon. Again, there were many lepers in Israel during the time of Elisha the prophet, yet, none, yet not one of them was cleansed, but only Naaman the Syrian. When the people 
in the synagogue heard this, they were all filled with fury. They rose up, drove him out of the town, and led him to the brow of the hill on which their town had been built, to hurl him down headlong. But he passed through the midst of them and went away. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Every experience of consolation is a heartwarming one. Nakakagaan ng loob, may kapayapaan sa puso. And I think no one would turn their back from consoling experiences. A simple affection, a word of gratitude from people or to people, a kind gesture, and name it. Knowing all difficulties ahead of us, or even with us now, how are we able to send and even be messengers of consolation to people, to everyone? Our daily duties may be experiences when, when or where we are asked to be affirmative over matters, over decisions, and even to thoughts. But today, we are led to deepen our affirmation by consoling one another. To send consolation to people nowadays could be everywhere, anytime, and in any place. The network of online connections proved this part. We may have sent direct messages over pe direct messages to console people, and sometimes. A simple Bible, Bible verse, a simple inspirational quote from an author, a simple word seen in the internet or at the bulletin, and anywhere could be ways of consoling people as well. More than being affirming people, let there be consoling people. St. Paul, in our first reading, did his part by consoling this Thessalonian community about this idea about the resurrection from the dead. He was there to console these people and to help these people enlighten their hearts with, the, with his consolation. Jesus, in our gospel today, proclaimed the good news by simply saying that the Spirit of the Lord is upon me. He has anointed me to bring glad tidings to the poor, to proclaim liberty to captives, recovery of sight to the blind, that the oppressed may go free and a year acceptable to the Lord. A proclamation of consolation. The good news itself this glad tidings is consolation in itself. We still face a lot of battles inwardly and even externally. Ilang araw na po tayong binabagyo. Sa mga nanonood ng FIBA World Cup, baka napanghihinaan na tayo ng loob sa, lumang, sa mga nangyayari. Sa madaming pagtaas ng presyo sa lipunan, baka tumataas, tumataas na din ang ating kilay at, 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 at ang ating presyon. And to the many forms of experience today, to the many cross and daily dying happening here and then, we would really need consolation. And may this hopefully be seen through you and through me. 
consolation may not only revolve around the sweet words, but to kind people now. Consolation may, may not only be present through art, but through generous people. Consolation may not only be seen through valuable things, but also from valuable people. Be the consolation the world needs. Be the consolation your dear one needs. More than words, my dear brothers and sisters, may presence speak a lot as a form of consolation. By the mere fact that we are here for each other and we are connected to each other, may this be a new language of consolation and an experience of a rich consolation from people. Not only through words, but from the goodness, but also from the goodness and kindness of people. Please stand. Jesus was rejected by his own people. In faith, we accept him as our Lord and Savior, and we pray in his name. For every intention, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the leaders of the church may speak the word of God with courage and live it with conviction. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. That the world may come to realize through us that Jesus Christ is the source of true wisdom. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That Christian parents may be strengthened to follow Christ, who is the way and the truth and the life, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the sick who find life difficult may see God's presence through the care and concern of their families, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That the faithful departed may have the joy of everlasting life, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. In silence, we lift up to the Lord all of the prayers offered in this Mass, as well as the prayers of our brothers and sisters joining us via online streaming. We continue to pray for, for our country, that we may be spared from this typhoon. May God bless each and every Filipino, Filipino families with security, protection, and guidance. We lift up to the Lord our prayers for one another and for our own intentions. For all of these, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty Father, since none of us come to Jesus unless you draw us to him, make us all one with him, that we may be with you now and forever. Amen. Please be seated.
Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His Holy Church. May this sacred offering, O Lord, confer on us always the blessing of salvation, that what it celebrates in mystery, it may accomplish in power through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The Mystery of Faith we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection 
and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, the Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
please stand. Let us pray. Renewed by this bread from the heavenly table, we beseech you, Lord, that being the food of charity, it may confirm our hearts and stir us to serve you in our neighbor. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. Thank <laughs> you.